this pull three mutton in. There they are. Lighting up the screen. Hopefully we get some more. Found them. Found them. Found the mutton. That's them. Looks like cat has got another mutton. There we go. We're on them now, guys. Back to back. Cat's got a big fish. Oh boy. I'm gonna put it around. You got a big one. That's what she said. There we go. Right. I got you. All right, shut off. Woo! Oh, I... Look at that sucker. I must have pulled him right out of the mouth. Right out of the mouth, did you? No, I'm saying I pulled it out of something's mouth. Yeah? Either a Goliath. Yeah, fine. Yeah. yeah. All right. Woo. What'd you have? You had Bonita strip. Yeah. We're on the wow. Fish everywhere, huh? Yeah. Well, something grabbed them, and I'm thinking it was a Goliath because there's no teeth marks. And I freaking yanked them right out of his mouth. Mutton strip and a livey. All right. Dude, you got a fatty, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to cook the bowl. You're coming over for dinner. All right, guys. So we're probably on our, like, what, fourth or fifth spot today? Right. And uh, started out, I mean, we've worked from 200, and now we're in 80 feet, and we found a school of mutton snapper. We got two in the boat. We're hoping to get some more. Uh, one we got on a live pilchard, and the GoPro wasn't on. And then I got one on a Bonita belly strip. So that's my preferred baits. Bonita belly strips, live pilchards, or um, uh, ballyhoo plugs is my other one. So uh, let's see if we can get us. Oh, Casey's on right here. Here we go, here we go. We are on them, we are on them. Come to me. Uh, eight ounces, buddy. <laughs> I gotta get the pilchards on. Mm -hmm. Live pilchards are doing it. Now we're having fun, huh? Oh, look at the size of that guy. That's a nice fish, what? There's a big one below us.
this pull three mutton in. There they are. Lighting up the screen. Hopefully we get some more. All right, guys, so we're fishing a three rod spread here. We've got live pilchards, gumdrops, as I like to call them, down. And uh, about 40 foot liters we're on right now with a four out Gamagatsu octopus circle. And we got one on each side of the boat, drifting straight back. And then we have our uh, spinner out here with a surface bait, surface pilchard. So in case anything comes by on that one. But we got three in the boat and uh, there's more under us. So hopefully we get some more. Right. Teamwork makes a dream work. And you know, sometimes they fool you. The 18 felt huge. Crazy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Big fish. It's a good one. It's a good one. Bring him here. Bring him here. Come on, come on. Case, come on. There you go. All right. The last bit. Oh, nice job, brother. Might be the biggest one yet. Might be. Another 20-incher. Oh, it's filling up now. It's filling up now. Yeah, baby. All right, so I want to share something with you guys. When you're looking for mutton snapper, don't fish on the wreck. The fish, especially the big, big fish, are off the wreck in the sand away probably i usually fish like 100 150 feet off the wreck which is what we're doing right now where we're at sand bottom nothing to worry about pulling them up unless the sharks come around keeper keeper mutton got the net this might be the biggest one kate okay, casey Holy cow, this guy's a fighter. You know, we're in shallower water, so they fight all the way up. As opposed to offshore, they just give up. No! No, 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 no! Ah, slammed it on the floor. Sorry, guys, I just lost a monster mutton. Ah, back at it. I'll be nice with this one. I, I yanked the hook out of the last one. It was a really big mutton. I'm, kicking myself this one doesn't feel big but oh now he's getting yeah higher up which is different in deep water where they fight on the bottom and then give up Where's my net guy? I got it. Woo! <laughs> Mutton man! Woo! Six keepers in the boat. Probably lost that many. We are on them. This spot is on fire today. This is one of my spots I haven't visited in probably two years. Glad I came. Uh, yo, you put it below the swivel. Here, come here, come on, come on. I don't know if that's a keeper or not. You're gonna have to measure him. No, that's only 17. What? 17. Dude, that fish is all of 18. No, he's not, Casey. You can't make him 18. Okay, throw him back then. If he's not, he's not. We'll catch one. I'm not upset about it. He's short. He's a he's a quarter inch short.
Is your, is your bait just hanging in the water? Oh, dude, you got a monster fish, bro. Just let him do what he wants, Casey. Just play him. Just play him. Oh, man. Woo! Right, there's one of those 20 pounders we were just talking about. Yeah, you may not know that. Uh, all right. Okay, all right. Oh, whoa! Oh, man. Don't, don't thumb him. Let him go. Don't thumb him. You got 30 pound leader. Don't thumb him. This was on the way down, drifting. Hey, we're coming up on the wreck. So now is the time. Uh. Uh. Sound like you're having a hernia over there. Big fish, dude. I know. All right. That's a big fish. All right. All right. I know it's big. What else to do? You want to bring him in? You can't. No, no. I want you. I'm seeing color. Don't let him go around on the motor. Don't let him go around on the motor. All right, come on. Wait, 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 wait. He's on the down. Hold on. He's gonna get you in that wreck. No, no, he's not getting. He's not that far down. He's on the. A monster. Biggest fish of the day. Stop in the ocean. All right, hand, Casey just handed me the rod off because he was going under the motor. I'm sure you don't want him back, Casey? No, 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 keep him, keep him. Put pressure on him. Let's bring this fish in. More important than who catches him. We're a team anyway. He just ripped out like 50 yards. Brutal. Powerful fish. Are we getting close to the weight? I don't know, man. Be careful. There's the, there's the, we're almost... The weight's gone. It's okay. It's okay. We were down to 20 feet. Wow. Neither were you. Okay. All right, we got him in. Sorry, guys, we didn't get the land there. <sighs> Look at the remora. Yeah, we didn't get the land. All right, we want to we want to let this fish go. This is a monster, AJ. Yeah, I got this. Get my camera. Give me my, my camera. We're gonna get this guy loose. Big fish, bro. Good job, Casey. Nice fish, Casey. Big old, probably easy forty pound AJ. Ooh, he's heavy. Monster of a fish. Yeah. Easily forty pounds. Yeah. I could barely hold him up. Whew, such a big fish. Beautiful. Go get bigger, buddy. Oh, he swam right away. Yep. Beautiful. Nothing makes me happier. That a boy. I don't want to lose him. I know. I'd rather have us bring the fish in. That was a get the video. Yeah. Do this then. That was a combined effort. We did good. We did good. That was a big fish on 30 pound liter. Monster. All right, guys, we're gonna call it a day on that big old AJ. That was a lot of fun between uh, Casey and I. He did a really great job on that fish, and he did a really great job on the mutton snapper today. You're turning into a mutton man. I'm a mutton man. <laughs> you're, you're turning into a pro. I'm glad we found him after several hours, and we had a we had a blast. If if every keeper mate in the boat, we would have easily limited out, but we lost uh, several at the boat and, and a, few, a few coming up the Goliaths, but that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about rigs, tips, how to like approach the mutton fishing, comment below, let me know. I'll be happy to help. And uh, we're going to head back to the dock now and start cleaning all these fish. Mm -hmm.